So I first learned to play poker age 21. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was 2005. I just graduated uni. Didn't really know what I wanted to do. I thought I was going to carry on in physics, but I decided to take a gap here because <laughs> I mean, when I first started taking physics, I was like, oh, I'm definitely doing this. This is so interesting. I love it. But then the more time I got to spend with like uh, PhD students or even people doing their masters, they seemed, I don't know, they just didn't seem very happy. And <laughs> I don't know, just personality wise, I was wondering if it was actually was going to work for me. Because all I really wanted to do was go out partying and clubbing and go, you know, see rock, rock shows, metal shows. <laughs> and I was also still wanting to be a rock star at the time. Yeah. And I was like, eh, I just don't know if this is going to quite work, me sitting in a lab, you know, fiddling around with lasers. So I decided to take a gap year. And I think I signed up. Oh, I was doing like random like goth modeling sometimes. Okay. And I, As one does <laughs> in their gap year. Right. Well, I, I, you know, just any way I could make some money. And I thought... I don't know, I enjoyed dressing up in my, my heavy metal costumes as, as often as possible. And I was like, <laughs> if I can get paid to do that, that'd be great. I also got paid to be a cage dancer in rock clubs in London. That yeah, was... well, you know, I was, I was admiring the, the boots on the way in. <laughs> this is uh, the shoeless household, so thank you for accommodating. This with, is not with, my with, least with metal socks. sock ever. <laughs> I'm so these embarrassed. Are, these are gray and pink <laughs> striped socks with hearts all over them. So yes, it's, it's, well, it's like the heart exterior the goth death metal exterior and then like the, the soft, sweet uh, inside. I, I, you don't understand how much pain I'm in, actually. <laughs> the fact that this is these. I have so many, like most of my socks are black. I just grabbed whatever I needed to. So goth modeling, which I also yeah. did during my gap year. Totally lying. I'm kidding. <laughs> kidding. Oh, man. And I wish I, I wish I could have. But goth modeling, cage dancing. Mm -hmm. and, and then? And then, yes. So... I think I signed up for this like website that would advertise different TV shows or modeling opportunities, that kind of thing. And I remember seeing an ad which said something like, could you use your powers of skill and deception to win a hundred thousand pounds on TV? And seeing as I was, you know, rapidly getting pretty damn broke because dancing in a rock club cage doesn't pay you anything really. <laughs> and I had some student debt mounted up, but really didn't want to get a real job for, you know, my parents were like, you have to, like, what are you doing? You've moved to London, get a job. So I was like, okay, I'm going to, this seems reasonable. I wanted to try being on TV. I like game shows. This seems like a game show. I'll apply. Turns out they wouldn't tell us what, what it was that we were applying for because yeah. they needed to keep it a secret. But turns out it was a reality show that was looking for five beginners at poker to teach them how to play. And the sort of loose scientific premise was they were looking for five different personality types uh, to see which you know is most suited for the game. And so I got selected for that. What was your personality type? <laughs> They called me the professor, which I most certainly was <laughs> I mean, not. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> I, I, was, I literally turned up in skin tight, tiger print, spandex, self-made trousers. <laughs> now, did you do that because they had put you in the professor category? Was that a rebellion, an act of rebellion, or did that just No, I mean, that was your, genuinely how I dressed. Your style emoting. Got no, it. It, was, it was my genuine appearance. As I said, I lived and breathed metal. Sounds good for TV. Right. And I think that's probably why they selected me, honestly. Like, <laughs> I was strange, very, very overconfident to the point of like cocky 21 year old brat. Unheard of with 21 year olds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I just thought I was the smartest person in the world. And I think I even said something like that in the interview, like the audition. <laughs> and they're like, oh, we're definitely like, bringing yeah, you in. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. And I didn't disappoint because yeah. I ended up having a complete meltdown on the show. Like, I'm so glad this is not on the internet. Basically, on the final, I think we played like seven preliminary rounds where we would, the five of us would play. Yeah. And then like that would accumulate points. Mm -hmm. And those points would translate into chips for the final game where we would play for the 100,000. And I was winning, you know, I was leading going into yeah. that. And clearly I had a knack for the game. And I remember the, the hosts and the, the professionals that they brought on the show to teach us were like, oh, you're definitely going to win. You know, you are the most talented at this. So I was so sure I was going to win this thing. <laughs> and then I ended up making, not to get too technical, but basically I misread my hand. Oh, no, I didn't. I misread the board. I made a straight on the river. The opponent bet. I was so excited. I was like, I raise, which was basically all my chips. 
And then I looked at the board again and noticed there were four diamonds out there and I didn't have, I'm like, I had two black cards and audibly went, <gasps> <laughs> Now I'm not, I'm, I'm no professional, but is that what Don't do one that. would call a tell? Yes, that is, that is a tell. <laughs> Do not do that. Um, and my opponent, who was a really nice guy called Lee, was like, well, I guess she doesn't have a diamond. And he was like, I'm all in. And instead of, again, keeping my, my cool or anything, I just started crying, like <laughs> melted down. The producers are high-fiving oh in the background. Oh, my God, yeah, they were literally. And, 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 and they were like, oh, Liv, what's the matter? Tell us more. And I was like, you know, makeup everywhere. I think I, I, I like run away from the table. They try and follow me with a camera. It was just, you know, classic <laughs> reality TV meltdown stuff. So that was my intro to poker. But I just completely fell in love with the game. Mm. And funny enough, while I was in the, during the filming of that, which took two months, I went to a local card club in London to try and get some practice. And they had this now sort of infamous this five pound rebuy so you know it was the cheapest tournament they had what is a rebuy a rebuy means that for the first hour or so if you bust out you can just buy back in again so mm -hmm. considering it was only five pound entry you can imagine it's just pandemonium everyone's going in every single hand <laughs> right. and people will easily like spend like a hundred pounds in their entry overall you know 20 rebuys good for the house yeah but i turned up with 10 pounds mm -hmm. because i was like well it's a five pound tournament why would i ever need more than you know five pound for the entry and five pound to buy a drink and that will be my my day so you're like a player in a video game with two lives where everybody else has like a hundred lives. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And most people were, were doing that. Yes. Yeah. Only for the first hour. Then once that period ends, then if you bust out, you're out. Yeah. So anyway, I go and this is the first tournament I ever play. And I enter this thing, somehow get through this carnage period in the first <laughs> right. hour. The zombies. I think I did. Keep yeah. I think I did rebuy up. once with my other five pounds. <laughs> so I didn't buy a drink. And anyway, I ended up winning it. Mm. I ended up playing till five in the morning. It was like 120 people in it. And I came home, I remember just having this, you know, they paid me out in 10s and 20s, I think 750 pounds or something like that, which was more money. So I'd never seen that amount of cash before, just so much money. Mm -hmm. And I remember going home to my boyfriend at the time and waking him up at 5 a.m. and just throwing the cash on him. <laughs> like, this is the best thing ever. This is my game. I'm, and I must be the best in the world. Like, you know, it's my first ever tournament, basically, yeah. and yeah. I win it. So even though the, the TV show did not go well and I didn't win the 100 grand, I'd already got the bug, basically, from that little win. 